Hey everybody, welcome back. We are now in week two of our challenge. So proud of you if you're still here. It doesn't have to be an hour long practice. I just wanna say that out loud a few times because I remember when I was trying to find consistency on my mat, I really thought I had to practice an hour every day and I just, I, I, I don't have the time to practice an hour every day. I am very fortunate. I do have the time to practice maybe an hour, three or four times a week, but I squeeze it in whenever I can. So we are on day eight, the second week of our challenge. And uh, we're gonna start by seated today. So what are some of the poses we've gone through so far? We've done a standing pose called Tadasana, which is how we've started every morning. Uh, we've done forward fold, Ukatasana. We've done chair pose, Ukatasana. We have done a lunge pose, uh, low lunge pose, which is Anjane Asana. We have done plank pose. Uh, we haven't done any cobra or back bending as of yet, but we have, or like I should say back bending when we're on our hands and knees, but we've done back bending uh, in standing poses and we've done a little bit of cat cow as well if you've opted out of plank pose. So remember, some of your uh, ways to opt out of poses that might be really challenging is if down dog's not working for you, tabletop position's really great. I'll also show you dolphin position today. Um, what are some other things you can do? If you're not ready to flow, you can do everything seated, which you can check with Jackie. And she'll show you everything that you can do seated. And today we are gonna practice for eight minutes and we're gonna use our handy dandy Alexa whenever she, uh, let's see. We'll see how she works out this morning. It's early. So I'm gonna jump on my bat back here. Remembering if you haven't already, I you can get a copy of my book called Yoga for Everyone. All the poses that we have done in this uh, 21 day challenge are in that book with all kinds of variations and modifications for you to try. You can get this book on Amazon, you can go to my website and get a link. I'll link to it in the videos so that you, if, if part of your goals for 2020 is to get a more consistent practice or to get back on your mat or to just even start yoga, that is a great book. Another great book that you can uh, check out from my friend, colleague, but Jeevana Heyman is also Accessible Yoga. He's got a book out as well. So we're trying to break this down and make this, uh, make people see that this is really for everyone. Okay, I've chatted enough now, so let's get on our mat for eight minutes. We are gonna start, it, start in seated today. So whenever I sit in a seated pose, I like to sit up on a blanket, a block, or a bolster. So I have my meditation cushion back there. You can sit up on a rolled blanket. You can sit up on a pillow if you're at home, if you're more comfortable kneeling. And if you're checking out Jackie's videos, she'll show you how to sit in a chair and different ways that you can sit on your mat uh, that may be a lot more comfortable than sitting crisscross applesauce, or as we know it in yoga, Sukhasana. So let's get on our mats. And we'll start by asking Alexa to help us out. Oh, Alexa, can you set a timer for eight minutes? Eight minutes, starting now. Okay, let's get on our mats. All right, so I'm in a comfortable seat on my mat. This is more closer to what we call sit asana, where my, uh, shin bones or my heels are stacked. Placing your hands just on top of your knees, rooting down through your sit bones. I like to move the flesh of my sit bones back and away so that I can feel more connected to the floor. Closing your eyes and starting with our breath, inhaling in through the nose, out through the mouth to start, just to get a little bit of breath work moving to get connected to our bodies and to remember that this practice is for you no matter your body size or your ability. Now, if you like, you can close your lips and let your breath move in and out through your nostrils only. All right, let's inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center and back through the center. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale. Inhale. And now release your left hand down to the mat. Reach your right arm up and over, turning your chest slightly up to the sky. 
inhale, reach up, arms out nice and wide. Exhale, right hand down to the mat, left arm up to the sky, turn your chest slightly up. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. And now let's twist to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, back through center. And let's twist to the left, looking over the left shoulder. Back through center. Let's place our left hand down on the earth, right arm up and over, and then swing the right arm straight out in front, plant it on the floor. Inhale, reach up. Swim that left arm out in front. So what I'm doing is when I reach up, I'm tucking my chin to my chest and I'm curling my upper back out and I'm reaching forward with my fingers. Do two more or any variation of this that feels good in your body. Last one. And now lace the fingertips behind the low back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, open the throat. Beautiful. And now release, and we're going to do something called eagle arms. And this can be challenging if you have a lot of girls in the front. So first way that we can do a variation of eagle arms is to stack our forearms on top of each other like I dream of Jeannie. Okay. We can give ourselves a hug, however that looks for you. Or if you feel like you can do eagle arms, is you bring the elbows together. So I'm going to bring my... Uh, right elbow pit open and then bring my left elbow in and bring my forearms together. Some of you may be able to bring your palms together in this pose. You can go ahead and give that a try. And then inhale, come out. Exhale, we'll do the second side. I'm going to add a little flow with this. Inhale, reach out. And now take your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you, look over your left shoulder. And now sweep right arm to right our right hand to right knee, and see how my arms are crossed in front. Tuck your chin to your chest, round your upper back, and then slide into either I Dream of Jeannie, into a hug, or into eagle arms. And then inhale nice and wide. Left hand, right knee, right fingertips behind you. Right arm up and over to your left knee. Slide into I Dream of Jeannie or a hug, or eagle pose. Arms nice and wide. Right hand, left knee, left fingertips behind you. We're going to do this a couple more times. So I want you to go ahead and do this at your own pace. Left hand, right knee, eagle, I dream of genie, or a hug. Inhale, nice and wide. Left hand, right knee, right hand, left knee. Curl the chin to the chest. Fold the arms together, I dream of genie or hug. Now inhale, come out nice and wide, exhale and release. Let's come onto our bellies and we're going to do a little prep work before we move into our glow. Come to lie right on your belly, bring your hands alongside your chest, squeeze your legs together and press your tops of your feet down into the earth. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, curl your shoulders back and lift up. Cobra pose. Okay. Now you're lifting from the center of your back. So press down through your pubic bone, squeeze the legs together and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, that's an option, cobra pose. Another option for cobra pose is to lift a little higher, elbows bent and hugging in, and you're pulling forward and up. Okay, so pull the heels of the hands back to the heels of the feet and lift up. Now we're gonna come up into cat, uh, to tabletop position and then take a few cat cows here. So that's a little tutorial on cobra pose. Good, so we'll take a few more, and then we're gonna take our hands out nice and wide, pinky finger right to the edge of the mat, fingertips spread out, super wide, wide like rays of the sun. Push down through the pads of the fingers, the knuckles of the hands, lift the hips up and back, and pedal your feet out into downward facing dog. Press through the upper body, root through the heels, Push the mat away from you. And then take your feet out nice and wide and walk your hands back towards your feet. Soften your knees. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center and walk to the top of your mat. So we're going to move through a sun salute. Feet about two fifths width apart or the width of a block. You can have the blocks at the top of your mat if you like. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Right hand reaches over 
our left hand reaches over to the right by grabbing the left wrist with the right hand. Come back to the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Lace the fingertips together. So this is our standing back bend that we've been doing. Opening your chest. And now bending your knees, sweeping your arms forward. Chair pose. In chair pose, folding all the way forward, hands come to your block, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back with your right leg, giant step, lower your right knee down. Pad your knee here if you like. You can use your, fold your mat. You can slide a cushion underneath. You can do all kinds of things that help you pad your back leg if you need to, okay? Once you're here, really sink into that front hip. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. And now exhale, plant both hands either on blocks, and I'll show you what that looks like, or plant them on the earth and step back to down dog. From here, we're gonna shift the shoulders over the wrists, lower the knees down, and lower, the, press the tops of the feet down, bend the elbows, and lower all the way down. All right, so if this is too hard, this is where you can come back to your table position. From here, we'll go back to our first tutorial. Hug the legs together, stretch the toes to the back of the mat, curl the chest forward. We're gonna come into cobra pose. From cobra pose, you can move back through tabletop position, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Alexa, stop. From here, take your feet out a little bit wider and walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center and come to the top of your mat. Alexa, stop. And release your hands down by your side. Okay, so that is a sun salute. So even though we've done eight minutes already, let's just take one more minute and go through the flow. Starting at the top of your mat, inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Right hand grabs a hold of left wrist, crescent over. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, second side. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, bend up the knees, fold forward. Hands can come on blocks here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the blocks, then step back, right leg lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, lower down, all the way onto your belly. Inhale, roll through cobra. Exhale, push back through tabletop, top, back through downward facing dog. Feet out nice and wide, and then walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, bend at the knees, sweep the bottom back as your fingertips come to blocks or the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, root back through the heels. Exhale, fold. Left leg back, left knee to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Good, exhale, hands to blocks or to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog or tabletop position. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Inhale, curl the shoulders back. And now let's exhale, make our way into tabletop and back to seated. So that's it for the practice for today. We've exceeded eight minutes by maybe a minute or so, but you can see how this builds your consistency of your practice, right? That you start off with eight minutes of an intention and all of a sudden it's 10 minutes before you know it. So thank you for joining me for day eight. I'll we'll see you in the video for day nine. I'm so proud of you for making this commitment and for staying with it. Don't forget, we'll be drawing at the end of this challenge for two of my books, Yoga for Everyone, and two wonderful outfits from Gaiam. Thanks, everybody. Namaste.